Our next guest, Paul, is a rider who was suddenly struck with a mysterious illness that turned his life upside down. This is his story. My partner, Hope Shank, and I have been friends since college, and Devil's Daughter is our first book together. As soon as Hope and I had finished the book, I had gotten ill. I was just walking my dog in the early evening time, and my hip started to hurt me tremendously. And then within that same hour, my lower back started to hurt, and it almost felt like I was becoming paralyzed to walk. So I found myself the following evening at the emergency room. That's when we started to realize that I had somehow got a bacteria in my system that was shutting me down. As the hours were passing, I had developed 23 ulcers. I had a bleeding lower intestine. It damaged the cartilage in my left hip and in my right shoulder, and it detached my retina in my left eye, causing me blindness in that eye. At one point in the ICU, they had given my family and friends the notice that I had 48 hours left. But I don't remember any of it. I just remember my mind wandering and going into different places. I do remember quite vividly the other realities that I had visited while I was in the hospital. It was just so bizarre. I was in this dark space, completely dark, and yet I could see some gates in front of me. But that's over. I was in the hospital for two months. When I was finally released, I was pretty much housebound. Writing has affected my recovery in a very positive way. To actually get lost in a story and to take yourself somewhere else that is uh, exciting and fun does help you to heal. Because if you can take your mind off yourself and transplant it somewhere else, your body gets a chance to rest from all the negative thoughts that go through your head. Paul joins us now, and Paul, thanks for sharing, and how are you doing now? I'm doing great. Uh, uh, the recovery has been a kind of a long process, but uh, I, I'm doing much better now, and I'm so grateful for it, for the friends that I have and the family I have that helped me through it. Did they ever determine what, what the organism was? No, uh, well, it was like a staph infection that, that somehow it got systemically, but and uh, then I had no. overwhelmed your body. Yeah, I had no open sores. I hadn't traveled. They asked me if I had traveled to a foreign country or to Africa mm -hmm. or things like that. And, and it just it, it goes to show how quickly your health can turn around. We wanted to focus on something we haven't really talked about on our show before. It's about how certain things in your life can truly help a recovery. And in your case, that was writing. Yeah, absolutely, that was writing. That really took my mind somewhere else and I could forget my illness, I could forget the recovery process, and it was really very healing. And I, I think that people that have hobbies and who are ill are probably get uh, better much faster than concentrating on do, when, what's wrong with them today. And you, yeah. in a sense, had a partner in crime, your best I friend, did. Hope, and also a uh, riding partner. Well, I'm sure seeing Paul go through this was hard for you, but did this process of being together, riding together, did that allow you to be there for him? Well, I acted as his patient advocate as well because we've been friends for so long. He asked me to do that a long time ago. I knew that he was missing the, the best part of us delivering this book. So every time he was coherent and I could talk to him, I'd tell him a little bit about where we were, trying to pull him out of it. And then little by little, he just would come out of it. He'd get more involved. He knew that there was a convention coming up. He knew that there were different things we had to do. And ultimately, through the process, we managed to get through it. And wow. I think, for me, it helped. It helped him. Mm -hmm. And overall, I think having that as a goal may have helped him in the long run. So you guys finished the book. We did, and we're very, very excited about it. This particular uh, book is called Devil's Daughter, uh, Lucinda's Pawn Shop. It's a family drama. It's a love story. It's a good versus evil. But it centers around uh, Lucinda, who is the demon's daughter. And what she does is she... She has a torturous relationship with her father, and she's there to stop his crusade to destroy mankind. Wow, I'm in. What's cool about your story, Paul and Hope, it's you don't have to be a professional writer to utilize something like writing to get better, to get you through something. We know that things like writing, that exercise alone, can improve everything from heart rate to blood pressure, decrease feelings of stress. Yes. We're just so glad that this was a coping mechanism that worked for you, and we're excited about your book.